Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's VMP, and welcome back to a little more Prophecy of Pandor. Ooh, feels good. Second episode of the series, brand new, and I had a lot of fun in the first episode. It feels great to get back to uh, Prophecy of Pandor and uh, the actual Prophecy of Pandor. Not like the end game like I was doing for months, but you know, the good old gritty, grindy beginning. So, uh, last episode we did a lot of battling. Uh, took out a lot of the competition around us, uh, destroyed a lot of the outlaws and whatnot, and we're looking to do the same this episode. And we also got, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't call us an army, but uh, we have a little band of troops, including Anson, our first hero. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to continue uh, doing that if we can. So, obviously we're playing as bandits uh, this season, and kind of what I was thinking, well... Last episode, I was kind of wondering, oh, who should we, who should we be raiding? Who should be, we really be attacking? And my first thought was the Fears Vein because they're next to, uh, oh, what's, <laughs> they're next to Ravenstern up here. But then I realized we're already at a negative relationship with Sarleon, so why not just attack their villagers and raid them? And that makes sense because that's kind of almost, I don't know, revenge for them kicking out us and our family. It makes a little bit of sense. A little bit of sense. So, speaking of... Let's go back a sec. How many people did they have? Ooh, outlaw band. No, I saw you, outlaw band. Where'd you going? Where are you going? Ah, there you are. Uslam Farmers, outlaw band. Or you should be able to get them um, just fine. You yes, there we go. <laughs> eh, no, we're not quite manhunters. And actually, we're pretty similar to you. Tear them apart. Jeez, that's a little violent. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> wow, I cannot see anything in the snowstorm. Okay, uh, looks like they're this way. That's good. That means they shouldn't be able to fire at us. Just kidding. They can see us just fine. We just can't see them. Makes sense. Woo! Woohoo! Kill streak, baby! Alright, is this main rider about to. What is it called? Main cavalry? Oh, main cavalry. Get on my level, son. Dead. <laughs> Very easy. And a level up. Very nice. Yeah, main cavalry. Yeah, they're quite expensive, but we should be making enough money to offset the cost. And they should help us if we do end up facing a fairly elite party. Alright. That's good enough. I mean, I doubt you would want anything in there. Do, does he need a helmet? No. Okay, we're good. Abandon that, and so let's continue going down. We're going to check out Sarlinon. Ooh. Border incident. Word reaches you that the villagers from Yule stole some cattle from Fundar. Although you don't know whether or not the rumors are true, you do know one thing. This seemingly minor incident has raised passions among the Dishar principalities, making it easier for them to go to war against the Feardsbane if they want it. Interesting. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Dishar do not want that battle on their hands, but uh, they might be foolish and go for it. Yeah, we wouldn't stand a chance of taking out this mercenary, or this uh, merchant caravan right now. They have eight main cavalries. That would not end well for us. I mean, we'd probably kill a few, but not that many. Not enough to win, and that's what matters, winning. That is the third... Um, Sarleon caravan we've seen. That's interesting. Once we get a bit more of a party, we'll be able to raid those, but just not quite yet. Oh, man. Ooh, treasure seekers. 13 of them. One heroine adventurer. Oh, man. Three main adventurers. Oh, no thank you at all. We do not want to run into them. That would almost assuredly be deadly. All right, here we go. Let's stick out these farmers. Hey, nothing but humble farming folk. Uh, my lord, we're only poor farmers from the village of Avegberg. Aveberg. We are returning from the market at Avendor to re uh, back to our village. We'll see how poor you are after I take what you got. Oh, we lose honor and right to rule by doing this. That's too bad. The right to rule bit. I don't care about the honor. <laughs> we already knew we weren't going to be a very honorable dude in this playthrough. Man, it is extremely foggy. I might have to see if I can turn that option off. That's a little, a little annoying. Not gonna lie. I 
have to see if there are mod options. I don't really remember with Prophecy of Endor if there is or not. There's been nothing too obvious yet. I suppose we should probably use the shield with our banner on it. Just in case people see, they start uh, learning their name. Wow, these guys are taking hits. Jeez. There we go. That's more like it. Where do the main rangers go? Oh, they're just firing on them. That's probably good. In a real battle against people I'm actually worried about us fighting. I'd rather them stay from afar and take them out. There we go. Quite easy. Quite easy indeed. Very nice. Alright. Capture them. Thank you. And lots of lovely loot. Not <laughs> just kidding. There weren't there wasn't really all that much loot. Alright, so we are officially at war with Sarleon now. So we don't have to worry. Oh, maybe we should raid Havigberg. Whoa. Do you think we could get away with it? Or with a lord come in time? We're going to try. We can always run away if it doesn't work out. And it is good. Oh, we lose 100 right to rule. Yeah, no one likes us. We might have to chill it after this for a little bit. Oh man, check out all of these guys. Woo. Oh, some of them actually have swords and shit. This might not actually be that easy. This would be kind of embarrassing if our first uh, defeat to the hands of a bunch of peasants. We have militia recruits. Militiamen. Good for experience. Could get tongue out of this. Okay. Just gotta. They seem to be attacking us kind of. Oh! I was gonna say in small packs. I guess that just changed. We know what we've gotta do. Just gotta run a train with them. We're on this rock a little bit. Alright, we want to turn it the other way. Oh, we didn't level up. Uh, hold up. Let's let's level ourselves up here. Give us a short break. Some more iron flesh would definitely be nice. And some shield. And we're gonna go archery and a little bit of one-handed. Decent amount of distance between us. This is, good, this is good experience for us. I'm not opposed to this. And we're probably not actually going to be able to raid him. Uh, just because... Oh, hello. Okay, now, no, what's up? I respect you there. Now we are just starting to get hurt. Shield left, so we can be selective about these blows. Edge of the map. Oh, yep, that's it. No, retreat. no we're not. Oh, we're about to go down. <laughs> oh, well. That's about what I expected. Oh, are we done? Didn't manage to drag us off. They didn't take us prisoner yet. We haven't been taken prisoner, at least. Fall back in line, son. That was really good for experience, though. Alright, we need to go. We need to scram for a little bit. Then we can go back. Minor fluff up. Minor fluff up. No big deal. Oh, who was that? I know we, we're probably not in the state to be hunting people right now, but I'm interested. Oh, here we go. Red Brotherhood. Outlaws. Let's do it. Let's fight. Uh, another border incident, this time between the Dishar and the Kingdom of Sarleon. Wow, the Dishar are just picking fights everywhere, it would seem. Here we go. Yeah, I think the Red Brotherhood is definitely going to be... Uh, 
isn't the Red Brotherhood, is it? Why did... Wait, hold up. Oh, whoops, I chose the wrong ones. Go back. There we go. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah, that's who we want to fight. Wow, only three of them left. Just us and our maiden... Maiden cavalry. We'll be fine. Take out these archers. Hello. 49. That was a pretty good blow. He just has good armor. I tried to lure him by lowering our shield, but unfortunately. Oh, hello. Yeah, he didn't die. I was an outlaw. Are you an outlaw too? You're a Red Brotherhood thief. Okay. Maybe they did lose a farmer. Ow. Nope. Lance is not out in time. <laughs> There's not going to be any of the farmers actually left for us to save. Like, we'll, we will have rushed in to aid them, but uh, they're not going to have anyone left. Oh, actually, no, that's a lie. They're going to have the people that got knocked unconscious by them. Because the Red Brotherhood is always going after slaves. That's their... Thing. All right, come on. Can I get his horse at least. Yes, I can. Hope oh, that was him. It'd be nice to get a bow soon. We're gonna have to wait for a wolf bow, the Slayer, to spawn before we can get the overpowered bow, though. Ooh, -hoo! Ooh -hoo! plus four in proficiency to our pole arms. I love it. Okay, that was another good blow there. That was still too bad about, the, about trying to raid that village. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I wasn't expecting quite that many of them. And uh, I wasn't expecting them to be like militia or militiamen or whatever they were. Those guys weren't scrubs. They are probably, I don't know, second tier units, I'd say. Like maybe, oh yeah, they'd be, so if this is like a Pendor recruit, they're like a Pendor militia. So they weren't scrubs, at least. I feel slightly better about myself. Yeah, this saddle horse is slow as shit, but looks like we can get this courser that's a lot faster. That is nice indeed. Oh man, some nice loot. We're gonna have to fight these guys more often. Uh... Good enough. 277. Wow, yeah, that was pretty nice. Uh, okay, main warder. That's fine. We can afford that. Are they going to get to their saffron gate? Where's that at? I have no idea where they're trying to go. Oh, whoa, Ravenstern's under siege now. Oh, man, the Fears Vein trying to return the. Return the favor. Jeez. That's pretty crazy. And something tells me that they're not going to be able to successfully uh, rebuke them. Oops, give me those cabbages back. I love me some cabbages. Oh, yeah, there we go. 11, nearly 1,200. Plus what we got from them. That was a very nice fight. We need to do that more often. And let's also sell off our prisoners here if we can. Kravold, are you... Uh, yes, good yep. sir. Okay. Well met. Uh, 20, 37. Eh, not much, huh? Alright, that's fine. I forget, is there uh, anything? Yes, good sir. Well met. Hmm. No, not really much we can do there. What's our renown looking like? Hunter rating a negative 3, but 125 renown. That's not terrible. Yeah, it's not terrible by any means. Hmm. So, what I'd like to do is get another ruined bastard sword like we had last season. Ooh, four strappers. Let's fight them. Um, they have a town militiaman too. Captive. Oh wow, they are fast. Ooh, band scary raiders. Oh boy, they're gonna catch us. 
There's talking, more raiding. Oh boy. Uh, this is probably not going to be that easy. Yeah, you guys stay there. I'm going to try and deal with these dudes. Let me hit there. Oh no. Seriously, neither of those hit at all? Okay. There we go. Oh boy, yeah, we are not. This is not a battle for us to win. Um, I'm gonna try to let them expend their throwing weapons. The archery, not. We can't wait that long. But. Oh, here we go. Let's get out here. Oh, of course they hit us, but you. We missed you. That's what. Good hits. Good hits. Oh, there we go. Killed one. Very nice. Yeah, that was that was a good run right there. That did some good damage. Are they done throwing shit at us? Probably not. That guy wasn't. Killed a few more though. I'm trying to throw shit at him point blank. It's rude. It's disrespectful is what it is. Hmm. So I've been watching uh Recently, I've been watching playthroughs of, uh, what's it called? Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor? Shadow of Mordor? Middle Earth? Something like that. <laughs> you probably know the game I'm talking about. It looks pretty sweet. I'm, I've been really considering getting it. I don't normally go for new games unless I know I'm going to love them. But I'm really thinking about getting this one. It is 50 bucks, so it's not... I mean, that's not too bad for a new game, I, I suppose. For a triple A game. I'll have to see. You got let me know in the comments if you guys want to see a series on that. Um because if you guys do, I think I think I'll probably get it. Because that, that game looks like a lot of fun. And it's you know, obviously it's uh RPG kind of medieval related. It's set in Middle Earth, so a little bit fantasy. Oh, more than a little bit, it's completely fantasy. Oh, there we go. Another good hit. Oh, damn it. There we go. Whew, alright, that was a bit of a, a bit of a worrisome battle, but uh, we, we pulled through. Twelve Vanscary Raiders. They should have some good shit here for us. Unfortunately, we already got that thing, so that's better than what they have. However, we can take their gloves, which is lovely. What about that Huskal's round shield? That is a lot better than what we currently have. Um, as is that one better than that one. Okay, cool. Heroes, do you want anything? No, you didn't. Wow, I'm a little surprised about that. Hold up, let's talk to Anson. Oh, here we go. Start upgrading your armor. Start upgrading your horse. Uh, get a one-handed weapon, a shield, a bow, and some arrows. Yes. There we go. That's better. <laughs> you should be ap actually able to do something in a fight now. Uh, one would hope, at least. Yeah, sounds actually pretty good for cash. That wasn't too bad of a deal. 650 dinars? Nice. All right, now let's get these forest robbers. See, so we make a ton of money just taking out our competition. Except for you. Not only do we now have more access to the other, uh, hmm, we'll call it the market. All the available villagers to be uh, raided, all the caravans to be raided. But we're also uh, acquiring their assets. <laughs> All their equipment and their previous ill-gotten gains. Is this the right way? It's probably not even the right way. No, it is not. Okay, we'll go this way. Now you guys can charge. Not worry about you guys getting killed by these guys. If you do, you kind of deserve it, I suppose. You definitely use a better sword at some point. Uh, to get that ruined bastard sword, um, I either have to mine from the Noldor. Or, I know that uh, demonic worshiper parties will 
rarely drop it. That's only only really ones that I know of. So if we see one that we think we can take on, probably won't happen for a little bit. Uh, we'll go for it. that. Alright, so let's go into uh, Yavikshom, as I was told it is pronounced, which is fine. Kind of makes sense, because the first van are kind of more like Icelandic uh, Viking type of troops. That kind of uh, culture, I suppose. Alright, so let's sell all this stuff. There we go, take grain up here. Get a decent amount of food. I like how uh, the parties we take on actually drop food. Because, I mean, that's that's realistic. It's not like you're going to be encountering people that are just wandering around the wilderness without uh, any food. Ooh, Kasim. Hello, that's a hero. Uh, Hello, first, let's... Oh, shoot. Uh, nope, no ransom broker. Okay. What? Greetings, Bahada. Would you share tea and conversation with one alone and far from his home? Thanks. Uh, with whom do I have the pleasure of taking tea? What has brought you here? I am Kasim, son of Jamshid, grandson of Baman, great-grandson of Ikram, a Pamiri Dashar of the High Passes. Were you of Pandora? You'd know why I'm so far from home. Since the days of my great-great-grandfather, my people, who have had blood feud with the tribes of the Yusuf... Yusuf... Mm, Yusavzai? <laughs> we'll go with that. Who squat in the next valley over from ours. Many men have died in this feud, including true two of my brothers. The Bahadur Khan himself ordered us to cease this blood feud to save men for fighting the wars in Pandora. I, however, honor my duty to my tribe, and my brother's blood cried out for vengeance. I waylaid and killed two Yusavzai on a track in the mountains. I then rode out of our village that same night without even bidding farewell to my father. I will wait a year or two and then return home after the Khan's men have forgotten me. The Yusavzai will never forget, of course, as our blood feuds never end until all of the enemy are dead. Against the day, I need no longer beware the Khan's wrath. I would welcome any opportunity to earn a living with my scimitar. Well, he sounds like a pretty good fighter. I'm curious as to what, what uh, minor faction he would be considered from. I think that he... Mm, I think that he'd be considered Singalian, since they're around the Dishar, and the, Sh the Singalians are south of the, the uh, Dishar. But it's possible he's a Jatu, but I think it's most likely he's Singalian. Alright, I'd consider hiring you, if I can be sure you'll not desert after we have to fight the Dishar. Why, that is the most generous officer, assuming, of course, that you are as affluent as you are fierce. I shall not betray you, so long as you honor a Khan's duty by paying me amply and regularly and allowing me the opportunity to loot. You must also refrain from dragging me into battles. There's no chance of winning. Please offer me salt. It is a Dishar custom to eat salt from the hand of Arkan as a pledge of loyalty. Certainly, please eat my salt. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird, but okay. Thank you. Now to seal our alliance, I ask for 800 dinars. It's my advice my father gave me. Never fight for a non-tribesman unless he pays your worth in gold up front. We can afford 800 dinars right now, so there you go. We will take Kasim. Always take heroes when you can, as long as they're not too crazy rich or expensive. Um. Ooh. Those aren't too bad. I think that we should be able to enter tournaments now with over a hundred renown. Hail and well met, gentle lord. Uh, don't care. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, Valenbrae is close. Uh, Poinsbrook is kind of close. And then Torba and, and Single, not so much. I guess Single isn't too terribly far away. It's over there. But Valenbrae is definitely the closest. So we're going to go over there. What is up with these lakes? They're just showing the sky. That one isn't. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm not entirely sure what's up with it. Alright, here we go. Oh, great. Oh, fan scary raiders. Alright. Uh, you guys, I do not want you to engage them. Let me handle this once more. Where are they at? 
that uh, I prefer if you guys were up on this hill. Ooh, okay. So, it's somewhat flat, but not perfectly flat. Spend their throwing weapons. I think they have like eight ammo for each one, generally, somewhere in that ballpark. Ooh, 52 damage. That's a nice glow. He's almost dead. Get below on him. You shot at the wrong time. If he had been holding a shot, I wouldn't have tried to shoot him because I would have thought he was going to hit me. But alas for him, he did not. So 51 damage on him. He's hurting. Archer. Oh, 18 damage. That was not, not fun. We have a lot of them wounded. But, oh man, 60 damage and he didn't die. Jeez, that's how stacked they are. Oh, 12. Okay, guys. Um, we might need to retreat here. I think that might be a smart option. See if they throw stuff at us. There we go. Damn it! Oh, these lances almost seem like they've been nerfed. The aiming with them is just awful. Oh. Yep. Definitely got our shield up to block that one. How many axes do you have left, man? Jeez. This is very risky. Um, I think we're okay though. Very, very risky. Oh, that was close. Oh, so was that one. Barely dodged out of the way of his strike. Four of them are left. This one's kind of by himself. horse when we lanced him. Oh. He was ready for us. You're not. <sighs> this is tense. Oh! oh. <laughs> All of these are so close. The battle AI is naturally better in uh, Prophecy and or they've improved it. So you can only imagine what it's like uh, on the hardest setting. Their strikes are basically perfect. 71 damage and he didn't go down. If that doesn't show you how overpowered, like, because these aren't even very good units. Look, he was only worth 240 experience. Like, he's not that great of a unit. Like, there are some troops that are worth up to, I think, 800 or 700 experience at least. Like, three... At least three times as much as these guys. Oh, should give you an idea of what's in store for us. All right. Do you want anything? No one wanted anything. Oh, wait. Go back. There we go. Yep, that's what I thought. I'll take all this to sell. Well, good news is we should get another healthy bonus here. Alright, 340, not as much as the other one, even though there's more raiders this time. Not, not sure why that is, but we did get plenty of stuff to loot, so that should be worth it. And that'll give us an ample amount of money to bet on in the tournament. Now, if we lose, that's going to be embarrassing. Oh, crap, and we're going to be low on health for the tournament now. Damn it. Gonna heal up as much as we can before going in for it. Is it still going? Oh, we don't. Still not high enough, huh? How much renown were we getting for those? 
we're at 145 now. It must be 150 or 200. It's probably 200. Uh, that's probably what it is. Really, just six of them want to fight us. They really just have no respect for us. Huh? Oh crap! And we're going on a peninsula, anyways. All right, that's fine. Hey. We'll take them on. Uh, the Van Scary Raiders are, you know, they're probably uh, our main competition. They're going to be the strongest of our competition for now. Uh, I'd say they're the strongest of the human competition. Obviously, there's going to be like uh, later on, we're going to have to worry about like the demon worshippers and stuff. But uh, for now. Oh wow, main cavern, nice. I like it. She, she's doing work. You make a good team. I'd give her a name, but I know she's not gonna last that long in Pendor. So uh we don't wanna get too attached. Oh, we'd leave her to die the second that it was uh to our advantage. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's a good amount of experience, uh, actually, for those guys. A quick little fight and lots of money. Um, if it, let's see if anyone wants that. No, okay. If it takes too much longer, we eventually get enough money. We might just start buying land before we actually do tournaments, which would be a first for me. I've never done that before. It, it almost seems wrong, but uh, I guess whatever. We're only getting three for that. We might actually want to get rid of some of our troops. Um, let's get rid of the peasant women. Let's get the bowmen. A warder. Getting rid of you. Yeah, so we're down to eight now. It's a little bit better. Ooh, Anson leveled up. So let's handle that quick. Alright, some more intelligence, uh, more wound treatment, definitely nice, and first aid. And then we'll start working on surgery. Uh, we'll get you some more archery. Oh, okay. Well, can't really do much with that, I suppose. Alright, character. Whoa, we leveled up three times. Okay, I did not realize that. Um, Alright, so there we go. So we're up to 18 strength. We might leave it at there for a little bit and start focusing on intelligence. That'll give us a bunch of extra ability points. Or skill points, not ability. Uh, so there we go. That's six for both of those. Horse archery, we're not using quite yet. Um, tactics might be nice. But we can't get it up to four. Because it's every two levels of tactics increase your uh, battle advantage. So it wouldn't be worth it quite yet. Pathfinding might be a good idea. Trade also a good idea to make us some more money. Ooh. Uh, so we're going to go inventory management for one of them. And then I think we'll go trainer and pathfinding. That should be good enough. I like that. Okay. And so let's just put the rest of these points into archery. And two-handed. There we go. What's this? Oh, bunch of forest uh, robbers. Rogue squires? Hmm. Hmm. Just one. Well, let's do it. Rogue squires are there, a stronger unit. I think they'd kind of be like the equivalent to a Swadian knight in native. But, uh, that means they should drop some good loot. Is that him? No, it's not him, so I'm not going to hit him. That's an outlaw. Where was the... Trying to see which one's the rogue squire. Oh, that's him. Let's just go after these guys. Of course they're all ranged. My favorite. Highly sarcastic there. Oh, there we go. Good hit on him and his horse. Actually killed his horse, right? Yep. 120 damage should be enough to down his horse. Ooh, pull out the lance for a nice couch. That <laughs> didn't really sound like it made much sense. Uh, I'm going to just uh, pull out my lance here and for uh, a very nice couch. It's a uh, two-seater. More of a love seat, really. 
Nice, nice uh, leather upholstery. That's all I really know about furniture. I don't know. <laughs> I'm talking out of my ass here. Uh, did they kill them? Oh, leveled up. Okay. Our main, uh, main cavalry is dueling with that rogue knight. We'll come down and uh, give her a hand here. Proper angles. Oh wow, she is lucky he didn't just lance her there, but whoop! Oh, of course we hit his horse. Come on. Ooh! There we go, rogue squire. Oh, they're actually not worth that much. Oh, I was thinking of rogue knights. So they're more like a swatting man at arms, really. Uh, oh gee, that's a terrible lance. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Nice to reach on it, I suppose. But Horrible thrust and swing, yeah. It's just all around not too good. So we'll take all this to sell. Making use of that uh, inventory management, or we will soon at least, I would hope. Did they succeed in taking Ravenstone? No. Okay, they did fail. That's a good thing. Oh, it's still under siege. 111 dinars. It's a good thing we probably lost the one uh, main... Calvary. Um, otherwise, our weekly wage would be pretty high right now. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. So, in an effort to get more renown, 151. I still don't think that's enough. It might be, but I don't think it is. I'm going to get rid of basically everyone with a main cavalry. Uh, so having a smaller party size means you get more renown for the fights and really those Those four are the only ones that are really doing anything right now, so uh, yes, good sir. Well met. So that's not what I wanted. I want to talk to Harmon actually Hello, my To Lord. sell all of my prisoners 132 a little bit better Young northern uh, nobles yes, 742 well of them for seven We'll start recruiting those guys eventually all the uh nobles um, because you can level them up into adventurers and hero adventurers and that is definitely what you want <laughs> uh, especially for a mercenary band like ourselves all right so we're gonna move around here a little oh hello Who we got oh 19 red brotherhood thieves this should test us and I think this will be the last battle for this episode um, Hopefully we'll be able to get enough renown to um, start doing some tournaments next episode, because that'll definitely help us out. Otherwise, we're almost at the point where we have enough money to start buying land. Wow, okay, our lance is not long enough to actually strike them there. That really fights. And whop, there we go. Bandit. I'll just focus on these guys and worry about the horse our people later. These guys can definitely have lots of arrows if we let them live. Which is not a not a pleasurable thing, I must must say. Oh, Anson got knocked down. He's the first of us to fall. Probably not the last. Although he is probably the worst fighter among our group. Whoa, that was some wicked frame rate right there. Just stopped. Now that's what happens when you have large battles and they're playing on high quality. <laughs> Sometimes the mods just can't quite handle it. Native always seems to be fine, but uh, whenever you throw the mods in there, sometimes it's just not correctly you know, optimized. So, this is far superior than uh, most mods, I will say. Most of them would have just quit by this point. <laughs> They're like, you want to you want to have how many new textures and new troops with new AI? Mm -mm, not happening. We can't do it. Oh, don't know why we jumped there. This guy stopped. Come on. Come on. They're cowards. They're running away from us. Right. Look at that. We need to just take out the horses. That's what we need to do. Come back here. They're all... Chilling at this tree. His horse is nearly dead. A decent low on him. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh geez, his horse just did a go flip. Crush that thing. 
what I'm talking about. That's the kind of hits we want. So powerful, we flip horses. Big, heavy, hundreds of pound horses. How heavy are horses? I'm curious. I'm guessing... Maybe like, so like horses like these, not like not big war horses, but like normal like just riding horses. What? They can't be how do I what? Five, six hundred pounds maybe? Yeah. It might actually be more than that now that I think about it. Mm. Yeah, it's it's probably more like the six hundred inch. Or six hundred end. Give or take a hundred pounds, probably around there. Now the big war horses, yeah, those are probably more like a thousand. The real big horses. I'm sure probably some of you uh, watching are actually learned about horses, and you're like, uh, yeah, you're not even close. <laughs> yeah. As I said, <laughs> that, I don't actually know what they weigh. I'm just guessing. But yeah, that would be pretty impressive, just with a single strike send. Hundreds of pounds just flipping end over end. Ooh! Killed him, even through the frame rate. Are there any of them left? No, was that? So that's me and the main cavalry. Right? Yeah. I'm not getting rid of you. We're doing good work. Oh, she has. Per is that a duck face I see? Hold up. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, it's not quite a duck face. Alright, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I was going to say, if that was a duck face, we were, we were going to be getting rid of her on the spot. Uh, we don't need a, a refugee. Alright, so we got 10 renown for that battle. Okay, that's a lot better. Alright, so another Courser, we're actually going to keep it. Um, oh wow, that's some good loot there. We're going to keep that Courser just in case this one gets lamed. Which will most likely happen, let's be honest. 770 dinars. We did some good work this episode. Like, we leveled up a bunch here. Oh, man. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay. Now, let's work a little bit on power draw. And then let's continue doing pathfinding. Because speed definitely helps out. As a bandit. If we're trying to hunt down smaller parties than us. Or get away from the larger parties. <laughs> when the lords start to get pissed off at us. Yes, that's who we want to get away from. Oh, the Empire doesn't like us now. Interesting. Definitely interesting. Oh, the rain door's locked. Of course, derp. Alright, guys, so I think we're going to go ahead and end it off there. I'm just going to check here and see if there are any tournaments nearby. Uh, Torba and Avendor, not really. The only closest would be... Avendor, and we are at war with them now currently. They don't like us. <laughs> Probably the only way we're going to get rid of that is to uh, join a faction, probably. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. But there you have it, guys. As always, leave me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this series and all the other series, and I'll be sure to get back to you. So, once again, as always, take it easy, guys.